This is how to memorize 50 of the 64 Braille cells in one lesson. 50 out of the 64 Braille cells have the exact same pattern of dots as letters A through J with just a few small changes. Let's look at what's different about each row and then we'll come back and see what letters all of these cells represent. The row directly below letters A through J is different in that it also has dot 3 raised. The next row has both dot 3 and dot 6 raised. The row below that just has dot 6 raised. And finally, the last row has the same pattern of dots as letters A through J, except they've all been dropped down one position. Now, to see what these cells represent. The row with dot 3 raised represents letters K through T. The row with both dot 3 and dot 6 raised represents the letters U through Z without the W, and then the words, and, for, of, the, with. You'll notice that if a cell represents a full word, that word is shown in blue instead of black. The row with dot 6 raised represents two letter contractions, such as CH, GH, SH, etc. Contractions, by the way, are just a way of shortening words so that you don't have to use as many braille cells to write them. In other words, instead of expanding the word, we want to contract it to save space. Also, some of the cells in this row, if used by themselves, represent whole words, such as TH is the word THIS if used by itself, and the OU is the word OUT if used by itself. Finally, the cell on the end is our missing W, and the W, if used by itself, represents the word WILL. The last row, with all the dots from letters A through J dropped down one position, also represents contractions, such as the letters EA and BE, or even the words TO, WAS, and BY. If you'll remember from the Grade 1 Braille video, this row also represents punctuation marks, but we'll look at those and some rules for usage in later videos. For now, let's see if we can determine how to translate this Braille cell. Well, if we remember our story from the Grade 1 Braille video, we can determine which of the letters A through J this cell most looks like. So let's see. Our story was about crossing a river. So we approach a bridge, but it's closed. No, it doesn't look like any of those. So we take the detour, but realize we're on empty. So we fill up with fuel, and there we go. Our cell looks like the fuel sign from the F but it also has dots 3 and 6 raised, which means it's on the third row of the grid that we looked at earlier. So F is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th letter of the alphabet. So now we just have to figure out what the 6th cell is on the third row. Now the second row starts with K and goes through T. So the third row starts with U, so V is the second cell in that row, and then W, wait, W is in a different row. So V is second, X is third, Y is fourth, and Z is fifth. Hmm, well, what was after Z? Oh yes, it was the word and, because the words and, for, of, the, with finished out that row. Phew, now that was a lot of work. You know, it would be a lot easier if we could just remember the columns from our grid instead of just the rows. In other words, if we could remember what cells come below the F, we could just think to ourselves, okay, this looks like the fuel sign in the F, and below the F is P with dot 3 raised, and below that is the word AND with dots 3 and dot 6 raised. Now that would make things a lot easier. But to do that, we would have to memorize all the cells that are below each of the letters A through J. Well, let's try and see if we can't do that. This time, we'll come up with a story like we did for letters A through J, and we'll try to remember each column as a word or a short phrase. To start out, let's say that you're a kid again and you're getting out of school. So you walk outside and you see your dad and he's holding your baby brother and your dad's there to walk you home. You're so excited to see your baby brother so you run up to him and hug him and say a coochie coochie coo, which will help us remember the A column. A, K, U, C, H, and E, A, or a coochie coochie coo. So you guys start walking home and you pass that same scary house next to your school that you always pass on your way home every day. And you start to wonder if it's haunted. So you ask your dad, believe ghosts be? Which helps us remember the B column. B, L, V, G, H, and B, E, or 
believe ghosts be? So your dad says, no, there's no ghosts in there. So you hurry past it and turn the corner and you suddenly get so excited because you see that there's a comic show at the convention center, which helps us remember the C column. C, M, X, S, H, and C, O, N, or comic show at the convention center. So your dad's really excited too and wants to take you. So you get to the ticket booth and your dad hands them his Discover card. But unfortunately, they run it and hand it back saying, I'm sorry, sir, we're going to have to deny this Discover, which helps us remember the D column. D, N, Y, T, H, which if used by itself is the word this, and dis, or deny this Discover. Oh man, now you can't go to the comic show, so you and your dad are pretty upset. But you try to cheer him up when you see a poster of your dad's favorite band coming to concert. So you point at it, and your dad looks at it and says, Ozzy Oz? When? Which helps us remember the E column. E, O, Z, W, H, and E, N, or Ozzy Oz? When? So your dad feels better, but he's still a little upset, so he decides you guys are just going to take the bus the rest of the way home. So you sit down at the bus stop, and since you have some time, your dad looks at you and says, Finish your paper and edit it, too. Which helps us remember the F column. F, P, and Ed, too. Or, finish your paper and edit it, too. So you say, okay, Dad. And then he gets up and goes to buy a magazine to read on the bus. But he gets over to the newsstand and is confused because they only have one kind of magazine for sale. He just sees... GQ for sale, er were, which helps us remember the G column. GQ for er were, or GQ for sale, er were. So the bus comes, and you're riding home, but just before you get home, you see your best friend walking on the sidewalk, and you ask your dad, hey dad, can we hop right off outside his house? Which helps us remember the H column. H, R, of, out, his, or hop right off outside his house? So your dad says, sure, and you get off the bus. But your friend has to go inside. So you and your dad, holding your baby brother, keep walking home. But before you get home, you pass the zoo, and you love the owl at the zoo. So you ask your dad, is the owl in? Which helps us remember the I column. I, S, the, owl. I in, or is the owl in? And your dad says, yeah, I see him, and now you do too, so you're excited. Well, you guys finally make it home, and you walk in the door, and your mom says, JT with Will W was by, which helps us remember the J column. JT with Will, which is also W, was, which is also by, or JT with Will W was by, And that's our story. If you can remember this story, then you should be able to quickly figure out what any of the 50 Braille cells in the A through J pattern mean. Let's try a few examples. The first one has both dot three and dot six raised. So if we go back to our first story about crossing a river, we can tell that this cell looks like the detour sign, so it's in the D column. And if we remember our second story, we can recall that the D column is deny this discover which is D-N-Y, this, dis. So in that column, the third cell down with dots three and six raised is the letter Y. The next example has dot six raised. So if we remember our first story, this looks like the Harley Rider in the H cell. And in our second story, the H was hop right off outside his house, which is H R of, out, his. So, in this column, the fourth cell down with dot six raised is the OU, which, if used by itself, is the word out. Our last example also has dot six raised. And if we go back to our first story, this looks like the approach in the letter A. And A, in our second story, was a coochie coochie coo, or A, K, U, C, H, EA. So in the A column, the fourth cell down with dot six raised is the CH. 
So by remembering these two stories about crossing the river and walking home from school, you'll be able to translate any of the 50 braille cells that follow the pattern of dots of letters A through J. Now one final note about these cells. We did leave out a few things to make them a little bit easier to memorize. So let's look at those things now. On the fourth row, the CH, when used by itself, means the word child. The SH, when used by itself, means shall. And the WH, when used by itself, means which. On the bottom row, the EN, when used by itself, means enough. Also, there are five double letter contractions on this row, which fall in the columns you would expect. BB, CC, DD, FF, and GG. These cells, when used in the middle of a word, represent these double letter contractions. We'll look more at rules of usage in a later video. But for now you've seen how to memorize 50 of the 64 braille cells in one lesson.